information your name and all your information at the bottom that's speak oh the signatures oh yeah, I love those. okay well this and is I've always wondered about them this is how you do it you come over here to mail you click on preferences and then here we are here so these are this is your account here that we just set up and then we would go here to signatures and now see, these are all my signatures, but you don't want my signatures, you want a new one. And I want to highlight that it's for you, so and I'm going to click on add one. And so I already have a lot of signatures, so this is signature number 12. <laughs> but you would put here whatever you wanted. Uh -huh. So um, what would you like to have show up as your, as your signature? You don't need your email address. You might want to have your website. Something about art, because, mm -hmm. so visual artist, extraordinaire, no. Seems kind of dry. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Do you like that? Yeah. Well, a lot of the times when I'm just writing stuff, I'll put Sue's, like, so does it have to be that formal? No, it absolutely does not. It has to be your personality. I like that. Yeah. Okay. And then here's here's what I'm feeling about your tagline right now. Embracing messy. That's, you're telling people what you're doing. You're embracing messy. But why are you embracing messy? Where's the benefit in embracing messy? What do you experience? Oh, it's freedom. It's just okay. freedom to, to create and don't worry about it. Yes. Exactly. Keep moving. Be in the moment. Write all that down. See, because when you say embracing messy, I kind of know what that is. But the person coming in who has three seconds to decide whether they stay on your site or they leave might need something a little bit more. I just want it to be kind of cool and funky too. Yeah, exactly. Right? So write, write, write down all those. Be in the moment. Grab the moment. Spontaneity. Write those words down. Because this is spontaneous creativity. Oh. oh! Embracing messy, spontaneous creativity. I love it. Me too. I love it. Wow, that was a good process. <laughs> so I don't think you need the visual artist part, do you? No, it speaks for itself. Yeah. And then this you are probably going to do in some kind of stylized text or whatever when you do it. You know? <laughs> When you're doing your signature here, they won't allow you to do um, italics or things or anything. But here's my little trick that I found. You take this and you copy it. And you come over to Microsoft Word. You paste it in here. And you can italicize it or do whatever you like there. Can you... Change the font or not? Mm -hmm. What oh. would you like? Curls. No, Mistral. It might be too fancy for that size. Yeah, it's well, too hard okay. to read. Well, that's okay. I think we can. It's still yeah. too hard to read. Try curls. I can read that. Okay. Let's try it. So now we take it here. We copy it. We come back to your email. Delete that, then we paste it. Oh, I like that. So let's see what it, um, that's now saved. That's done. When we move to another one, see, when we come back, yours is there. I like that space. <clears throat> so let's see, well, that's because you made the font bigger, so it automatically, so oh, now okay. we can test it. We can go do a new email. That's what it's going to look like. Do you want a color? Yeah. Now I'm not liking Sue's. That seems funny. Well, you don't need Sue's. It just because if you're going to type it, like you'd probably go like Love Sue's or whatever. Love Sue's, right? Yeah. Like you'll type it. But this is your tagline, which yeah. is cool, right? So let's go back to your. Where'd you go? There it is. Um. And let's delete that part, right? And then do you want this in a color? Okay. 
So now we go back to our word. Pull that up. I love this part because it's so it's more creative. It's, yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> I get it. Screw I get the, this part. Screw the tech stuff. Let's get to the creative stuff. So uh, what color do you want? Well, I always go with turquoise as my first choice, but turquoise doesn't always show up the greatest here. Yeah. So, so then burgundy or fuchsia. Well, maybe we can get to a darker one though. Okay. Hey, did it go darker? Uh, no. It didn't. There, that should show. Ah, now it doesn't look very blue, does it? Try um, a burgundy, is there a burgundy in there? Somewhere? More, more fuchsia-ish. Oh, I like that color. And that's purple. Go back to where we had it. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice. kind of looks brown, but it's okay. It's just a little different. Oh, you want to do a little bit more red? I'm going to do a little more colors. Go into more of a fuchsia then. Maybe go here. If this is the color. Oh, there. That's cool. I like that. This is great. Let's see what it looks like in your email. Okay, so now we copy it. We go back to here. We delete that. Right. And then paste it. Yeah, see, the other thing, too, is that there's certain colors for the web look different, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got messages. There you go. I like that. That looks nice, hey? Yes. All right, so let's do a testing hill. Test signature. Hello, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Love. See what's going on. There we go. So that's what it looks like when I receive it. I love that. I've always loved people's signatures and thought, how do they do that? Okay. Do they take the time every single time to write no. that information? And you see if I click on here, go I can go to straight my, to your website. And that's from your email. The most important thing right there. Which is what you want. Okay, perfect. Hello, world. Yay.